Okay, so um, I'm going to add a fake student to um, my Etudes website so that I can uh, see what my class looks like from the student perspective. So um, to start out, you click on Site Info, the menu, and click Add Users. On this page, uh, we are going to be um, selecting the first option, guest users using email address. That should be selected, but if it's not, click on it. And then enter an email address that's different than the emails that you're using as the instructor. It can't be the same one, so you have to have a different email address. Scroll down. It's either one of these options is okay. Only adding one user, so it doesn't matter here. And then click Continue. And now on this page, we're choosing a role for our user. And since we want to see what it looks like from the student side, we're going to choose the student role for this user. So click Next to Student. You can double check the user email address here. Click Continue. Again, it's showing us um, just a confirmation here. The user ID is going to be your entire email address that you entered. Uh, and right now, their last and first name is the email address. We'll, we can change that later. Um, just double check the email address here, the student role being student. If that's all correct, click Done. And that's it. Now you've added yourself um, using that different email address as to your site. This page here, the site info page, shows you a list of all of your uh, participants. So you should be listed with your regular email instructor here. And then down here, the email address you just added should have the role of student. Okay. So now uh, what we need to do is we log out. We need to go to our email um, site. Log in and retrieve our email. Okay, so here it is, Etudes new user notification. Click on that. It says uh, notifies us added to the site. Move this and. Um, Again, it repeats what our user ID is, which is just our entire email address. And this is a temporary password. So this is really important to get this email and retrieve this temporary password. I'm going to copy it here. I don't have to remember all of those numbers. And now I can uh, exit out of this. Go back into Etudes. And now I type in my user ID is fake student, which again is the email address. And I'm going to paste that temporary password. Click login. Okay, and now um, it's showing me down here users present. It should show your email address right now. I'm going to click on preferences here, space, and, um, oops, sorry, I meant account. I'm going to click on account and update the um, first and last name of this user. So um, after you click a account, click modify details. And first and last name, I'm just going to put test for the first name, student first name. So use something like this. Don't use your real name because it will confuse students. They'll see two accounts with your real name. So you want to use something that indicates it's just a, a fake account that is an, not another student's name either. You don't want to use a name that might look like a real student. Um, and then we can... So um, create a new password here so we don't have to remember that temporary one. So 
I've heard my password twice, update details. And now I should be able to access my class as my fake student. And as you can see, it has updated with this test student as the user uh, name. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy.